Alright, and hello, welcome to the tutorial on how to make a digital speedometer. No, go away. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make a digital speedometer. You haven't already noticed that. But first things first, what you're going to need to do is set out a total of... Well, let's see, I need to do some counting, yes? Well, if we got a total of 10 blocks times 3, not times 3, times 2... Alright, let me come up to 20, make sure I got... Alright, that's 9 right there. Gosh darn it. Alright, now how many we got? 5 and 5. Alright. Then, with each of these num these blocks, you're gonna want some numbers. And then numbers. Alright. And then select what numbers you want. Oh, uh, there's no zero of these. Shoot. Alright, we'll use these numbers. Turn grid off. Alright, zero. Try and get them all evenly displaced, alright? It's, it, it says they're part of this. Or, if you want to see what actually happens here, please do not skip. Alright, here's what happens. We then take these, make sure you put the grid snap on small. Alright, then, and then we want three rows because we're going to be showing three sets of speed. Alright, then on the top one, get rid of three through nine because we won't have enough space on a sequencer for all that. Then, for each one of these, you want to get out a microchip. Now, I... Oh, uh, we probably should have done this beforehand before make, placing all these, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Or if I had someone with me to help place these. Alright, this is where... Sh it's going to get tricky. Very, very tricky. Alright. Then for numbering... You want to make the select tweak you want to the tag label to the number that it goes with and then make sure you have a certain color setting oh boy hold on let's go down to the car now right here i have a sequencer with a load of tags in it now you want to now if we take a look here the number goes up to 239, but I want to boost that. Alright, and then here's kind of the sequence of how you'd place these. Alright here, you see this tag that says 3, this blue one? This is our 10s, and these are our 1s, and these are the 100s. So we're going to take a 10, and put it to 4. Now you, starting from scratch on this one, Probably have to start that at zero because you wouldn't exactly be t 10 miles an hour yet. I'll go back to show you. And then all your ones, zero through nine, you, these you really don't need to touch because these just repeat on the speedometer. And then this, the hundred, well, I just need to make that a little longer. And that's that. Alright, now it's up to 200. You can go up to 249 miles an hour, so let's close that. Alright, and also tag color is important as well as this speed sensor. Now, I originally had it set to be able to go into that speed, so let me pull out my calculator, see what I can do at 249 miles an hour, up to 83. Alright, so not much of a bump up there. Alright, remember the colors? Yes. We went green, then blue, and then I believe pink. Alright, back to green. Oh yeah, beforehand, make sure when these are all off that you set it to so then they're transparent when off. Or else it won't be so happy. It's not going to be too fun just trying to read all the numbers. Yeah. 
And nine. Nine. All right. All right, now that we got that, now I need to do that again so then it... Oh, come on. I think I've ruined it. Can't tell. And then just redo that and get rid of these. Oh, dear. Oh, I ought to be on front view for this. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta fix the color. Blue. Blue. Oh, fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh, I'm gonna borrow the number here. Just realize something. Now remember, the numbers have to be somewhat close to the. Uh, uh, big problem. Unless we put like the numbers here or something. Oh, I never did place it. What's the range? Oh, really? Alright, yeah, you certainly want to make the range big enough so then they can at least get to the control nader. Unless, there's a way to fix that. Unless you take the thing here. And alright, well, we got this figured out. Somehow you'd be able to. Oh boy. Alright, I know what to do. I'm gonna then take this out. Let's put that on the mic. Alright, put that on a microchip. Alright, so we should have the size alt. The reach all taken care of. Alright, so back to this. Just placing all these tags, not placing them, but at least setting up the ranges and stuff. And then, for the last color, that I gotta make sure of what it is. Oh, red. Now, you could also use this method to make a timer. A digital timer, kind of like what I have in the drag racing video. But that'll be another topic at another time, because there's no way I'm... All right, now what we want to do is place all these together. Now this you can do also on Little Big Planet too. Not sure how well the um sequencer would like all of it, let alone running on the PS3, but then again, LBP 3D is pretty much running on the PS3 because, because porting and, oh, we never did set this one up. Hold on, that does say 9, right? It does. And now for the ones. The now uh, yeah, the number of sequencer spots you're gonna have for the tags is about two hundred and fifty. No, two forty nine, because we hit the limiter. So you can't go up to two fifty, let alone three hundred. Which oh oh, hold on. 
That could have been a problem. And there. Then we're gonna bring him in. Well, probably have a good snap. Now I'm gonna bring him down. Play it on front view. Make sure it all looks good. And we will advance glue it down. Let's take a look at what it looks like, yes? Hopefully it detects it. I saw numbers. And there we go. There's the numbers counting up. Looks pretty good in this font. Now this car does top hat at 144. Now let's see if I've got it correct in the game. Doesn't look like we're very close. Uh, we are a bit far off, yes. Alright. Well. So that's pretty much all you need to know of. Just how to do the speedometer. Alright. I do it out of miles per hour. But you could also do this out of kilometers an hour. Now. Uh. Kind of forget the ratio. But for miles an hour, I do it out of 300 miles an hour for the 100. And 249 would come up to 83. Now, kilometers an hour, I'm not too sure. No, 51.8. And that would be the ratio for kilometers. Now let's try it in kilometers. Now the secret number we're looking here for 0 to 60 would be 100 kilometers. So let's see if we get that. And... the kilometers. Alright, at the end of the track, I forget... At the end of the... Yeah, at the end of the road, I forget what number we were coming up to it. Seven kilometers. Nope. Alright, 206 kilometers. Let's do that math. 206 divided by 1.6. We come up to 128.7. Now, if we go back to the number I had originally, it would be a 128 at the end of the road. And 128. Would you look at that? So here we're struggling to get 129. And we're just on the edge of it. So, you can tell if you want, if you're doing it out of 249 miles an hour, then you hit 8. Then you want, uh, just for a little cap over, if you want it out of 249 miles an hour, you do 83 on the maximum speed sensor. But if you're doing it out of kilometers, you want a 51.8 out of 249 kilometers an hour. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this helpful or you really enjoyed the presentation, which wasn't all that well, then you can hit the like button. Subscribe if you want a little bit more things from me and Little Big Planet 3. Or maybe, if you're a little bit of a hunt for some crew activity, then you can also do that there, even though that's not what makes this channel thrive. Alright, I'll see ya. Goodbye.